guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Kiyosha Nelia. Happy 2021. <laughs> long overdue it's about it's been about a year and a half since my surgery so i'm gonna do our what should be one year update at one and a half years to check in and see how i'm doing and also you can see my tumor in this video so if you are interested keep watching okay real quick i went to get some notes because there's a lot of this stuff i mean it's been a year and a half so i kind of don't remember everything so for a quick recap, I had an open open myomectomy, a laparoscopic surgery to remove a four pound tumor and four pounds in like centimeters. That was about 16 and a half by 16.4 by 10.2 centimeters. And when they first did the ultrasound, they couldn't see my right ovary and they couldn't see the endometrium so they couldn't really do the whole exam i mean obviously they didn't know the weight until they took it out but um now that i've given you the measurements i'll be able to insert some footage so that you can see i have some um images that of my tumor it's crazy it's huge this is you won't be able to see it well here but i'll i'll insert the the images um it was like bigger than my doctor's hands. It's insane. But anyway, so I had the myomectomy to remove it in July of 2019. Um, and part of the reason why this video is late is because, I, well, life. And then also my doctor was going to be opening up his own practice. And I had to wait to see him for my follow-up scan and all that stuff. Um, until he was settled and his practice didn't open till October of 2020. So, so at one and a half years after having my um, uterine fibroid removed, I'm doing really, really well. The only thing I would say has been a struggle is keeping extra weight off. My weight has been up and down. Like after the surgery, I went back down to my normal weight. So I don't mind putting my weight out there, whatever. So right before i had the surgery i was up to 152 and i'm 5'4 and then the tumor itself was four pounds they removed that and then i think i got down to like 143 but a year and a half later i'm back up to like 150 so that sucks um i don't really think that that has anything to do with the tumors themselves but your girl's hella thick it might be the pandemic so um, I did have a follow-up visit with my doctor after I had my one, one and a half year scan done, um, ultrasound. I had that, the information I read for you, read to you before was when I had my original scan done. The scan that I just had, um, for whatever reason, I can't find the report, but um, basically it said the big one is gone because it was surgically extracted from my body. The other one, the, I do have two others that they couldn't see before on the first scan because the biggest one was so large, it was obstructing every freaking thing else. So I do have two smaller um, fibroid tumors and they're about one to two centimeters. Uh, nothing that my doctor said I should be worried about. I'll worry about them when it's time to worry about them, when my doctor says it's time to worry about them, when my body lets me know it is time to worry about them, then I will worry about them. But um, life is good. Life is so much better now without that. I, I really can't think of anything I haven't had any symptoms or life has been just exponentially better since I had my fibroid removed so if you are considering surgery and you know you've looked into whether it's right for you and the only thing that's holding you back is probably just maybe fear oh my gosh like I don't know what my life would be like if I had not had that surgery the main thing that you probably clicked on this video to see are probably the images, so I will insert them now. The 
that I want to show you guys. I do want to show you what my incision looks like now. All right, so I'm gonna stand up. <laughs> I'm gonna need y'all to disregard all my extra winter goodness around the midsection. But yeah, just I want you to see what the scar looks like and how well it's healed. <laughs> that doesn't really show very much when I'm wearing a bikini or like I just recently went to Hawaii and um, even before that my sister came to visit me here in Vegas and we went and you know did a bunch of pool stuff quarantine of course not quarantine social di socially distance of course you know but um yeah so that's not that much of an issue oh I don't know if you could see it but like I do have like this extra sack now like it's almost like i got two stomachs which i don't like i just don't know if working out is going to be something that helps that so yeah i kind of have it's like i have this one right and then i have this one it's probably hard to see but i feel like i got two little <laughs> two little underbellies it's kind of strange but um hopefully when i get my diet right and I'm working out and all that stuff it that stuff gets better but I just wanted to come on here and do a quick update um, life after having a an open myomectomy a laparoscopic surgery basically like a c-section but no baby uh, yeah I'm doing good and I hope that you all are too if there's any information that you guys would want to know aside from what is in this video please don't hesitate to leave me a comment in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next video.